people are raising money to help prevent the tragedies that are often linked to domestic abuse. They are coming together in memory of Blue Point native Gabby Petito. News 12's Carmen Grant has the story. From live music to face painting, hundreds of people came out to raise awareness for domestic violence in memory of Blue Point native Gabby Petito. Loved ones tell us how much it means to them to see an outpouring of support. I can't even believe how many people came. It was so wonderful to see the support of everybody. The Gabby Petito Foundation was started by the 22-year-old's family after her death in 2021. Gabby was reported missing for more than a week before her remains were discovered at Grand Teton National Park. Police say she was strangled to death by her fiancé, Brian Laundry. The organization in her memory is now devoted to supporting domestic violence survivors, as well as advocates for families whose loved ones are still missing. We really want to help those people to get resources that they otherwise wouldn't have access to the same way Gabby had it. Obviously, I would want her back and not have to do this. But the fact that maybe we can save even one more life um, from violence or from death, or that's what it means to me. All these gift baskets and prizes were donated to the event to help raise money for the foundation. The proceeds raised through today's fundraiser will go directly to fight against domestic abuse. Petito's family members didn't have a specific target amount they wanted to raise today. However, they did say the support of the community, volunteers, and the 50-yard line sports bar that organized the event helped to make this fundraiser successful. It's been probably about been about five, six weeks that we've been, that we've been going crazy for donations, permits, do, you know, just trying to get everything together. The town was a great help. I had people that really helped me with a lot of paperwork, and it took a lot, but it's all worth it. In West Babylon, Carmen Grant, News 12 Long Island. And the Petito family says they will continue to fundraise both locally and around the country to support their mission of supporting domestic abuse survivors. Coming up next.